what's up what's up everybody yes today is thursday uh and uh yeah amc update here last of the mohicans is how this is feeling um you know as you can see we're currently sharing at 44 dollars at the time of this uh recording um but keep in mind that i am not a financial advisor i am not a uh i'm not here to give you financial advice except do what you want to do with yours okay uh but yeah i am music producer phil for real and uh as you probably have seen you know i uh finally have gotten uh mr eight father to you know make his change and like i said in my previous video uh i am very proud of him okay it doesn't matter and i want to talk to some of you other apes that are in his comments always talking shit to him about oh this is what they say oh it took you this long why didn't you take why if we we've been out months ago and, and see so you have to look at these comments because the you could tell these are the people that were the emotional pussies okay that went out of robin hood because they were so mad that the buy button went gone okay in january now listen i get it i totally understand my thing is when robin hood did that okay it's because it was a huge massive technical situation that was affecting them they they they're, listen they're, they're on a, they have an app right and you can use it on the on the on the browser as well but when millions of people do something at once yeah you're gonna have a technical glitch of some sort okay um and then you know you got the the, the ceo of robin hood saying yeah you know we were able to to knock it down a few million dollars and you know we got it you know we were able to you know turn off the buy button now mind you with that um yeah it sucks okay but it doesn't mean that you should be telling other people oh you're late oh yeah i'm the, the reason why most of y'all like i said got out of robin hood is because you were going off an emotional basis okay so you showed your weakness no matter how cool you think you are you showed your weakness okay including some other people that's that's you know been talking about hood all the time you know um how they're gonna short hood and stuff like that okay um so that's that's my only thing is you know most of y'all the reason why most people did not get out of robin hood is because they were watching you guys be so emotional and so weak okay when it comes to robin hood and how they hurt your fucking feelings what do you what the fuck do you what what do you what do you think you at you know where you're at you know you're in america right you know that you know we live in a country where you know feelings are hurt all the time and then when and then when people other people maybe i don't know other groups they tell you about how their feelings hurt you're like oh man fuck those feelings you know what i'm saying so i'm here to say the same to yours fuck your feelings okay now everybody that's you know dealing that's dealing with a transition right now from robin hood weeble to fidelity and others right don't shame these apes who the fuck are you to sit here and say oh it took you this long so so fucking what has the squeeze happened is zero zero five in effect right now today's not friday why not start now i mean you know the stocks uh the trade is about to uh you know the market is about to close in like an hour or maybe 30 minutes i'm sorry but what the fuck bro like listen the message that I want to get across right now is apes together. It's like y'all always go on Twitter, throw the hashtag apes strong together. Oh yeah. And then here it is a uh, ape by the name of the ape father who, you know, yeah, he's self-proclaimed ape father. Let him say, let him say he's the ape father. Okay. Here it is. I saw an ape in danger and I said, you know what? Let me go in help him out let me say this let me help him because i want him to win because apes strong together but here it is you trolls on social media you worship other people who won't even show you their portfolio you worship people that literally will take all your super chat money in the hundreds okay and they don't even know proper dd like how you ask how like <laughs> literally just yesterday a guy that takes a ton of super chat funds was asked a question in his super chat 
hey, what do you think about, you know, he, you know, he answers it because he only answers the super chats and you most likely know who I'm talking about. Hey, uh, super chat. Let's see what we got here. What do you think about zero, zero, two? I mean, uh, I'm sorry, 005. What do you think about 005? And he was a deer in the headlights, okay? Didn't really know much about what's happening tomorrow. Like, really doesn't, like, you really don't know? And then you told a person you'll get back to them? Okay, okay, cool, cool, okay. I guess that's okay for some people. They need that, and then you're still giving him this guy money? Hmm, hmm, I mean, hmm. It's your money. You could do what you want. Like you guys always argue. It's my money. I could do whatever I want. But uh, you guys are in the way. Option traders, I get it. You're, you're making $600 a day. Great. But you're still in the way. See, the purpose of my videos, I'm not here to sit here and tell you, you know, go ahead and play around in these options. I do know that Citadel and others are looking at what you are putting in. And they're saying, oh, most of the target price is going towards this. Yeah, let's say around like, mm, I don't know, one, two o'clock. Let's just short it real quick or maybe let it go high. So they can't go and, you know, there's a lot of shorts here. Oh, we fucked up here. Let's just move it around. That's what they're doing right now. They're moving it around. That's why AMC is in green today. OK, because there's most likely some type of options that's in the money. OK, that they're moving it away from certain shit. Because they don't want everybody getting that shit, getting all the money and getting all the shares. Okay, they don't. They want to avoid that. Okay, but my message, like I said, is apes strong together. Okay, that's why I I I I speak in a neutral way because I want all of you guys to do this, including the guys that's taking super chat money away from apes. I don't like it. I disagree with what you're doing. I think all the up, you know, if you're making 5k a day in super chat money, I think all of that should go towards the AMC share price each day. But no, you're taking it, and I disagree. But I want you to also win too because you say you're an ape, so I'm just gonna hope that you're an ape because I know you're not gonna be transparent, but it's okay. Um, but uh, my thing is, you know, I want to make sure that everybody helps each other that's in AMC. I don't want, I hate seeing. The negative comments, all of this stuff that's happening with everybody. Oh, you, you you took so long. I don't understand why you took so long getting out of Robin Hood. Like, it doesn't matter. What matters is the squeeze has not squoze. Okay? You got to look yourself in the eye and say, squeeze has not squoze. Okay? So even, like I said, when I, when I transferred from Robin Hood to Fidelity, I made sure I had no debt. I literally had zero debt and I was able to transfer in one day. Okay? Easy. Okay? So if it works for me, it's gonna work for you. So keep calm, people. Keep calm. Okay? That's all you gotta do. And remember, uh if if you need me to explain 005 again, I'm gonna explain it again. So 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 like I mentioned, instead of 10k margin requirements. It's going to be 250,000 margin requirements. And you know what that means. Every time you get that call, you got one hour to cover 250,000 instead of 10,000 or a little to nothing. OK, so it's going to start little by little. Remember, a lot of billion, a lot of shares are synthetic out there. A lot of failed to delivers are out there. So it's going to come out and smaller head funders are going to be able to, you know, close their position. They're going to be like, oh, I can't afford that. Boom, close it. Price goes up. The next guy that could afford it, he's going to hold on for a while. Then boom, he's not going to be able to afford it no more. Boom, close position. He's out of there. And then one by one, it's just going to go just like that. And then the share price is going to go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And then that's that's the, the, the core reason why 005 is definitely very important. You know, it's, it's just it's adding that pressure to them okay you nothing's happening to us think about think about everything that you're saying that you guys are coming at eight father for okay you guys are coming at him talking about he's taking too long oh it took you too long it took you this long 
No, the problem is there's tons of YouTube videos that are out here talking about Moaz is coming ASAP. Moaz is coming tomorrow. Oh, get ready for this share price. Oh, do to this, do to this, do to that. And you're scaring people that already invested tons of thousands of dollars into Robinhood or Webull. And so many people, including maybe Eight Father, was afraid. But then I just kind of had to make this video to let him know, bro, there's nothing to be afraid of. OK, you got this, man. You got this, okay? You could transfer. It's okay. Even if it even if the squeeze is happening. Remember, the squeeze could take up to maybe a week or two. Okay? It's not gonna now mind you the votes what and remember the share price if you know about the synthetics, the if that share price ain't where it's at, it don't matter what how long it takes to transfer. Like I said, leave some some fractional shares into Robinhood. Just fractional, some some little here. Just take this shit. I got like a hundred bucks on Robin Hood. I mean, go ahead, take it. And most of that shit is indulged. It doesn't matter to me. You feel me? If if they go out of business, oh well, fuck them. I lost a hundred a hundred bucks. Oh fucking well. As long as I don't lose my thousands over here, I'm all right. That's what I'm saying. You gotta you want to operate like that, you know. So that way, you know, you you just know that you're safe. But it doesn't matter when you're transferring your shares. Okay. You just want to make sure that you're doing the best you can to just do what you got to do with to secure your shit. So it goes directly to the New York Stock Exchange instead of the back door. All right. So that's just my quick uh, update and my message to you guys. I know you guys, you know, doing good. So peace.